This is what the media wants you to think. But is it real? I thought you should meet the Muslims I know. They're mostly Pakistani-American, because I cannot pretend to speak for 1.3 billion Muslims all over the world. Like me, they live in upstate New York, in Rochester. I asked them to talk about living in America and being American. But be ready now and then to trek across the globe to Pakistan and share some of the history and culture we bring with us. myself as an American. When I go to Pakistan and visit, I feel more an American than anywhere else in the world because I go there, I don't, I mean, I know the culture and stuff, but I'm there wearing jeans and a hoodie while my cousins are all wearing the long robes and, the, and everything there. Yeah. I've grown up in America. I was born in England, but I've lived my life in America, and that's how I see myself. Like, I. I love football, not cricket. I, <laughs> just the yeah. most basic thing you can think of. Exactly. I can speak the language, but not that well. I have an accent, if you can believe that. Yeah. It's just different for us to see ourselves as a Pakistani. Like someone asks you, so hey, you're a Pakistani, right? And I want to go, no, I'm an American, and you're German, or you're, you're Italian. <laughs> yeah. Is, yeah. I think you can, you're an American, and under that you can be an American Muslim, you can yeah. be American German, you can be American Catholic, you can right. yeah. everything, but what, where you live and where you grow up and the culture that you embrace and the ideals that you're taught that makes who you are, and I think for every one of us who's sitting at this table, I think we're all Americans. I'm an American, but I uh, I was raised in a hardcore Pakistani house. Yeah, that's okay. okay. That's different. When I have you know desi khana every day, <laughs> and sometimes I just need some pasta. What's the time? Yeah. <laughs> I wanted this documentary to be a dialogue between American Muslims and non-Muslims. I asked non-Muslim Americans to frame some of the questions we were going to address in the film. Um, and I'm just wondering, what is it that causes someone to move and move their family to another country, another part of the world, another culture, another language? What, what is that like? Well, I think what drove me initially really can uh, probably be best summarized as a feeling, as, as a feeling of, as if I was uh, an American citizen living in the body of a Pakistani when I was a young wow. guy growing up. Uh, I looked up to the United States of America. I really admired it. I read up about it. I knew all about it. My dad brought a set of Encyclopedia Britannica and read about all the states. And I remember looking at these beautiful pictures uh, when I was in seventh grade and said, this is the country I want to go to. What was it about the it's, U.S.? It was, the, it was the, uh, the Constitution of the United States, the idea of free speech, the idea of equal rights, the idea of civil liberties, um, and of course, greater economic opportunities. But to me, it was the whole mindset of, of this country, the society, the openness, uh, the freedom, the individuality. 
When I was growing up in Pakistan was a time uh, when the al uh, was a military dictator. There was martial law. Uh, obviously, there was no freedom of speech. Um, there was kind of an oppressive atmosphere. There was this state-sponsored introduction of religiosity into society, promotion of the mullahs, uh, using them for staying in political power, using Islam to inflame the passions of people, recruiting people to go to jihad in Afghanistan against the infidel uh, Soviets, was not at all my scene. Okay, got it? All right, you should help me too. Oh, I got it. One more time, that way. So how long have you been in the U.S.? Um, it's uh, 18 years now. And how has, how have we lived up to your childhood ideals of America? Uh, absolutely perfectly until George Bush was elected president. <laughs>